Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Dean Calcaterra, and I'm a poet from Long Island. I'm totally new to this whole YouTube game thing, but what's going to happen is every week I'm going to post here on my channel a video where I read one of my poems, and I have video to go along with it. The first poem is going to be Coffee Maker Graveyard, which I wrote literally about a shelf of coffee makers that are in my basement. I try to find the deeper meaning in it. The video and the poem will say a lot more, so I'm not going to say much more. But I hope you guys like the video, so please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. The grounded grinds are pounded, pressed, and steamed when powdered, beaten down beans and water meet. They collaborate in the collection of caffeination and that same pot to be poured out in the flavorful ways of sweet, or creamy, or roasty, or bitter, or sharp, or enjoyably acrid from the sips we sip from the mugs of unwashable stain staining tiny time machine tarnished trips in a coffee clock blip. I manage to make out mudded memories of morning blend brews, as its song of blues serenely soars through the air while the smell helps you spell out the words printed on the morning news. But what's news to me is there's no obituary for Phil Terry paper. There's absolutely no memoriam for Rhea Usabel Phil Terry. And I know it's terrible because no one but me remembers Perky until later when I mention it. I don't know why I bother though, it's not like they question it. All they care about is the latest, the greatest, the robust, the bold, the must-have current trend afresh, so introduce the graveyard shelf to yet another old. But all of these coffee makers live past their expiration dates. I see them now as coffee markers mounted down to ship the once-was morning awakening moments in their phantoms of fragrant freights.